Hi, John and Ashley. I was going to tell you the Merv Griffin story because I didn't get a chance to tell you before, and it's a little freebie. I'm going to, I'm going to spill the beans. We were all invited on a cast show. In other words, Merv Griffin invited all of us on the afternoon show to come in, the entire cast. And there's Audrey Meadows and Ted Knight and Nancy Dussault and Jim Bullock. They had already come on stage. I was backstage in the green room with, the, with Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta and another bunch of people that were coming on later. And Deborah and I were the last two to come out. And he brings out Deborah before me. So I'm really nervous. It's my first talk show. And Deborah, I watched on the monitor back in the green room, and he had asked her this question. Mer Griffin asked Deborah this question. While Ted Knight and Audrey Meadows and Nancy Dussault were all on stage, you know, watching, you know how they have those family reunion shows where everyone comes out. Well, Merv asked Deborah, what is Ted Knight really like? And Deborah being nervous like I was, she proceeded to say, well, I don't know, he's sort of a kinky dad. And Merv went, ho, ho, a kinky dad. And Ted, that's Ted's voice, ho, ho, ho. And Merv went, well, we're gonna go to a commercial break and we're gonna find out what she meant by kinky when we meet the youngest member of the Rush family, family Lydia Cornell. So I come out after the commercial break. I'm so nervous. And Merv Griffin proceeds to ask me, what did Deborah mean by kinky? And to be funny, just trying to be funny, I said, well, he likes to lift up our skirts and look down our bras, look down our blouses, throw spit wads into our bras, and, you know, and, and, and pop our bra straps every now and then. And there was dead silence. Nobody laughed. There was some embarrassed woo. And... Ted's wife is on the front row, and Ted is over there looking at me like with a blood-curdling look. And I think I blacked out. <laughs> I felt like, what did I say? This is way before the Me Too movement, and none of this was true. I mean, there were silly antics on the set of just playing. You know, he might have thrown like a straw with a spit wad in it toward us one day. And I think he popped our bra. I mean, it wasn't, it was so innocent, you know, it was those days when you just act silly around your, your co-stars. There was nothing risque about it. Nothing demeaning, nothing sexual harassment, why, harassment -y. that's not even a word, but anyway. And I'll never forget that day of, of horror. And they stopped tape, Merv Griffin said, oh, they stopped tape, they had to cut that entire part out. We were like dismissed. I went outside and Ted was so angry. We were all outside in the dark waiting for our car. Each, each of us brought our own cars. Deborah and I went home together and spent the night together, shaking all night, worrying. The next day we go to Ted's dressing room to apologize. We're standing outside the dressing room. He says, how could you? What was that? We go in and we go, we're so sorry. And then he just bursts out laughing, laughing. And he said, it's okay. They stopped tape. They didn't use any of it. And it was all happy family again, and he gave us a big hug, and we didn't know what to say. It's like, obviously, we were just newcomers trying to be funny. <laughs> Someday I'd love to find that tape, though. It's got to be somewhere. Somebody has it. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye.